for Cole in the postseason, but it was still a big year for the ace overall. In addition to leading the American League in wins and strikeout to walk ratio, who finished top three in several other categories and was the runner-up to Robbie Ray in the Cy Young vote. Again, you take a look at the 16 wins. We talked a lot about this last season. They left some wins on the table for him, not giving him enough support. You wonder if that's going to change and boost him up a little this year. If we look at those numbers on the graphic, he had a great year last year, and you think about the Yankee lineup, the Yankee Yankees offensively, if they were a more consistent offensive ball club, there were four more wins out there, so you'd be talking about a 20-game winner, and maybe he would win that Cy Young Award, but I watched Garrett last year, and I think there's another level to this guy. Obviously, the numbers are there. I come down to, can you beat your arch rival, the Boston Red Sox? You mentioned the numbers as a Yankee aren't great. You think back to that playoff game last year, not a great performance. There's another level for this guy to go. We know how much of a perfectionist he is, how meticulous he is. You know that he knows how much he has struggled against the Red Sox, and that is something that he will try and change in 2022. We talk about the wins that he had last season. We're in a point in baseball where wins are not supposed to matter to starting pitchers. Trust me, they matter to the starting pitcher, even if they don't always matter to the organization. But guys, beyond the 16 wins, here's what shocked me about Cole's season last year. When you start your starting pitcher on that day, you expect to win, even if, as Bob pointed out, he ends up leaving the game. In Cole's starts last year, the Yankees were 16 and 14, barely above 500. That's a shocking number that needs to change. Well, let's 